morning, it's Monday, December the 14th. I imagine that most people love Paddington Bear. Margareta and I saw the Paddington 2 film not long ago, in which Paddington wants to buy a unique pop-up book of London from Mr Gruber's antique shop for his Aunt Lucy's 100th birthday. But the book is stolen and Paddington is framed, arrested and sent to prison. The real thief is Phoenix Buchanan, an ex-actor who lives near the Browns and who believes that the book will lead him to a hidden treasure. In prison, Paddington's kindness, good manners, recipe for marmalade and his hard stare win over the feared chef Knuckles. It's a very exciting film. It includes a prison breakout, a high-speed train chase that ends with Paddington imprisoned in a carriage which has plunged into deep water. And there's the dramatic rescue of Paddington from drowning by Mrs Brown, Knuckles, Fibs and Spoon. Buchanan is arrested, but Paddington, ill and in a coma for days, wakes up on Aunt Lucy's birthday believing that he has totally let her down. But then, surrounded by his friends, there's a knock on the front door, and to Paddington's astonishment, there on the doorstep is Aunt Lucy herself. A surprise journey all the way from Peru, arranged by the family, by friends and neighbours, all those gathered to be with him. And with their help, his aim to let, Lance, uh, uh, to let Lucy see the sights of London was fulfilled beyond all expectation. It's a delightful film, but like all good children's stories, it has a message. Kindness, loyalty and love are vital qualities, and though often negated by selfishness, greed and the desire to control the lives of others, they will win out in the end. In the real world, of course, the battle between good and evil always rages. And as a well-known quotation of Leonard Henry Courtney puts it, the price of peace is eternal vigilance. Fortunately, there are many role models for us to follow. From St Francis of Assisi to Martin Luther King, from John Wesley to Oscar Romero. There are great political reformers and social pioneers. And for Christians, of course, the greatest role model of all is Jesus. But even with all these wonderful witnesses, we mustn't forget our own families, our friends and mentors, those who patiently and lovingly help to shape our own personal values and make our dreams possible. Nor should we forget the insights and the values we've gained from books and stories, not least from the charming character of Paddington Bear. Let us pray. Lord, we give thanks that in Jesus and in so many of his followers, we see the spirit of kindness and love. Jesus loved rich and poor alike, good and bad, friend and stranger, and so made many of them realise that God is love. When we fall short of his example, when we speak unfairly or act thoughtlessly, may we remember the high standards of his love and friendship. So that same spirit of generous kindness colours all that we do and say in our dealings with other people. Amen.